When BAMEC was created in 1984, it was set up as a political action committee and to support uh, candidates that were in support of our LGBTQ community. The money that BAMEC has been able to raise has gone really specifically to uh, political action and supporting candidates. Many people in the community wanted to have an organization that was a nonprofit, that they could have a tax write-off, at the same time working on social justice issues. And because there was a need for a nonprofit to do so much great work in the community, the board decided then to create uh, the nonprofit organization, the Baymec Community Foundation. We decided to create a website that would contain as much history as we could and going through every possible gay newspaper that we could find of over the last uh, basically you know, 30, 40 years. We were able to create a timeline for the last 50 years that has uh, over 200 entries. As much as you can imagine about the history, the people, the events, particularly important for younger people, many who don't think that there's been any LGBTQ activity down here, one major component of this project is the museum exhibit uh, that we did in uh, uh, June of um, 2020. I was aware that uh, the County of Santa Clara uh, was allocating money for history projects. Through the help of Supervisor uh, Cindy Chavez, we were able to get the grant and that allowed us then showcase 50 years of uh, gay activism here down in Silicon Valley. What's exciting is that we were able to transfer most of the information that was in the exhibit on 18 different pop-up posters. We've been able to go to various city halls in the county over the last year. The third part is to do a documentary. 23 uh, individuals all talking about uh, the history of uh, Silicon Valley from the early days, uh, the bar scene, uh, all the way through all the political activism uh, to where things stand now. You can go to the Queer Silicon Valley uh, website or you can also search for it on YouTube at uh, Queer Silicon Valley. It is difficult to underestimate the influence that Baymac as an organization has had not only on LGBTQ rights, but also social justice for everyone in Santa Clara County. When Wigsey and I founded Baymec in 1984, the political atmosphere was poisonous towards LGBTQ people. And through 39 years, we have been working as an organization to claim our place at the table, to make the demands that we deserve the same rights as anyone else in our society. And just to show you how far BAMEC has, has come, in 1986, uh, when we had our first dinner celebrating our defeat of Prop 64, only two elected officials attended, Councilwoman Iola Williams and uh, Santa Cruz Mayor John Laird. And uh, when you think now, politicians make sure that they come to our function, that has not happened by chance. A lot of hard work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears who get us to the point where an organization that people want our endorsement. With your support for Baymec and the Baymec Community Foundation, we can continue to make the great strides forward 